Okay, this is called a pastelon. It's a, right. a very well-known Puerto Rican dish, and it's basically Puerto Rican lasagna. Puerto made Rican in homage. lasagna! Um, and I love it, my kids love it, my family loves it. My grandmother used to make it, and my mother makes it. So how you make it is you start out with maduros, which are sweet plantains, and they really need to be almost black on the outside. Right, when you go to buy them very at the ripe. store, they shouldn't look like bananas, they should be black. Yeah, right. very, very ripe. And you can put them in a paper bag and keep them in your house and make them uh, Just like an ripe. avocado, to force them to ripen faster. Exactly. Same so process. I like to mash them a little bit. These could be a little bit more ripe, but I like to mash, and then I fry them. So this it dish is good, doesn't it? Right? Mm. This, this dish is like a sweet and savory dish. So after I've mashed them and I fried them. And you drain them a little. I drain them a little. I line a pan. And I you usually put pan? a little bit of egg on the bottom. The sofrito is sort of a, I don't know, a base that you make at home. You can make it home. You can buy it in the store, but it's much better made at home. And it is the foundation of almost every Puerto Rican dish. One important ingredient for me is the recao. It's called recaito um, or culantro, and it's really important because it gives you this interesting flavor that is uniquely it's very Puerto unique, Rican. Yeah. Uniquely Puerto Rican. Mm -hmm. And there's also a little cilantro in here as well, yes. right? Cilantro, related, not identical. Not identical, Rel related. related. Cilantro, I also have some plum tomatoes, which I love. I use cubanel peppers. I love cubanel They're peppers. so very good. Very common to Mediterranean cuisine as well. Yes, and I also love, of course, fresh onions. And you have to have the dulces. These are like um, sweet peppers. And you know what's also great? It keeps really well. So you can put it in you a mason jar. You can that in the fridge and which cook is what with I it do. for weeks. Yeah. And then I freeze it. So the sofrito is usually the base yeah. when you're frying anything. I like to put tomato paste in it as well. Okay. Mm. The tomato base. Any Puerto Rican kitchen must have sazon. Of you course. have to have some sazon. Of course. I usually put an entire packet. I like the color that it brings. It's Bring kind it. Of, it's kind of... That's a natto seed that gives it that color. Yeah, I, I just like the red, redness. And then you have to have the adobo. It's a Yum. wonderful flavoring. And I'm very liberal with it. I also like the saltiness of um, olives. The brine from the pickles? It's, it's brine olives. You, yeah, and you put and a I, little of that I juice do, in. I do that. Mm. It's called alca parado. And then I put the olives in also. Like a picadillo, delicious. Exactly, yeah. it's really, 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 really good. So you put that on top of the, the platanos, the maduros, and then you put some mozzarella cheese, because yes. it is a Puerto Rican lasagna. It's lasagna. It's lasagna, after all. Right, and then, and then you, this guy? And then you and then top it. Like that, right, with yeah. more. And then you top it with more. And then you now, stick egg on top too, I like or that little, was underneath? I like a little egg on top as well. A little well, egg on to top as well. To be honest with you. And then some people put some more cheese on top. And then a little more cilantro on top? You can if you want. I usually don't. But... Okay, never mind. <laughs>